Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I just want to preface this video at the very start that um, I have no idea what I'm going to talk about, but I'm here. I felt motivated. I was ready to go. I saw the camera, so I was like, who am I kidding? It's been far too long. Let's get into it. Um, first thing I'm going to say is my first video went absolutely fucking insane. You guys, let me actually check this shit real quick because I want to I want to make sure I'm accurate. I don't want to be telling any fibs. So let's figure this out. My channel. I'm at 228,000 subscribers, which is fucking ridiculous cuz I posted one YouTube video and uh the, my first YouTube video got 7,430 I don't even know if I just said that right. 743, that's what it is. 743,000 views. So you guys absolutely crushed that thing. And um, my video went trending. Like my video alone without Nick and Chris, who normally do a lot, do most, like literally went trending. So I don't understand, um, I don't really understand how all that happened, but I seriously appreciate it more than you guys even know. Cause um, you know, this is a dream. This is what I want to do. And and one last thing of this whole little sentimental bit here. I don't want to sh leak my address, so I'm leaving this over here. But um, Susan from YouTube sent me a little present. So thanks, Susan. Everybody thanks Susan's for, Susan for this. Look at what I got, guys. Look at that. Check the name on there. Screenshot it, rotate it if you want. It says Matthew Cerniolo for passing 100,000 subscribers. Sorry, this is just fucking ridiculous. Um, yeah, I really don't even... I, like, words will never... There, there's not enough words to describe how thankful I am for that. Because um, owning a YouTube plaque was always like a dream of me, Nick, and Chris. And the fact that like we had one alone, that was, that was it. That was like... From right there, that, the dream was complete right then and there. Then we got another one. Now I got this one. Our Sterniolo's live is hitting. Like, Nick's getting it. Chris is getting it. Like, the, the absolute uh, overwhelming amount of support is um, overwhelming. Um, I get to be back home in Boston for a little bit, be with my dad, be with my mom. My anxiety has been, honestly, my anxiety has been at, like, an all-time low recently. Um, I don't really know why, which... I should probably try to figure out because if it has been at an all-time low, I should know what's keeping it at an all-time low. So that when it gets back to an all-time high, I can be like, you're going back down to an all-time low. But my anxiety has been perfectly like great, honestly, recently. And I want to say that my anxiety, how I cope with it, is very much um, all mental. It's all, Anxiety to me is one of the biggest mental mental games ever like you your anxiety is literally just like your thoughts in your head that you're letting your that you're letting tell your body how you need to feel and telling your body what you need to do so how i cope with my anxiety is very much a mental battle and it's just like controlling my thoughts sitting down being like that's that's not right like when my body is lying to me and saying you're in pain, you're struggling, you need to go home, you need to do this. I just sit there, really focus on my breathing, in through my nose, out through my mouth. My PE teacher taught me that and fucking... Why am I checking my phone for dates? My PE teacher taught me that in sixth grade. Love that dude. He really is the man. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Hello everyone, <clears throat> welcome back, or welcome to, depending on what you're, um, if you were here last time or not. Sorry, I don't know how to set this up. So, I know that I literally said in my channel that, um, I was gonna, um, put out a video every, like, every month, and it's been about four. So I seriously apologize for that. And the reason why is because I don't want to force content on this account. I want it to come naturally and I want it to just be like when I'm feeling it. 
and I, I filmed videos that I didn't upload because I was forcing it and I really hated like all of them because it was just awkward and it seemed forced but I feel like if I just like space out when I film content and how I do it then I can like it might not be every once in a while like it might not be as often as you guys would want content but at least I'm actually enjoying the content that I'm making and you guys will enjoy it too because it's not forced and fake but um I decided to vlog today because one of my biggest anxiety things is drive through anxiety and it's like really it, it literally is like I don't know how to explain it but I feel like I'm in prison when I'm in drive throughs sometimes and Nick and Chris are out today and I'm I'm home alone and I was like, damn, I need to go eat food. Because I was like, obviously, you got to eat food every day to, to live. But um, I was like, all right, I'm going to go to a drive-thru and get something to eat. So I'm at Burger King right now. And I'm locked in the Burger King drive-thru. And I'm shitting myself a little bit. But, you know, that's okay. See? Look at that. This car is going to go up. I'm going to go up. And then I'm free. But for some people that don't understand what I'm saying when I say I have drive through anxiety and it's literally one of my biggest ones, is literally I know that I could go in the building and I know that I could like find an easy way around it, even when I'm not driving. Like just the idea that like I'm stuck, your car is stuck in between the curb and the building until you fully go through. If the car in the front breaks down, how long are you stuck there? That's horrifying to me. And I know I can like avoid it, but I got, I'm like, I go through drive throughs to teach myself, get over it a little bit. But I was like, I struggle in drive throughs and it's crazy. It's embarrassing. But um, I'm about to get through this one. And I'm glad that I shared the experience with you guys. And that's probably why I'm like talking fast and everything. But here we go. I made it through the drive through. We're good. Now I'm not focused though. So that's annoying. But yes, that's my, um, that's my philosophy with my personal channel. I'm not going to put out shit content just to put out content. I'm going to take my time with the content and make sure I enjoy it before I put it out into the world. Because if I don't enjoy it, you guys won't enjoy it. Well, that might not be true. But if I don't enjoy it, I don't want to put it out. Um, but yeah, um, Nick and Chris were out today. I was alone. And I want to start to branch out a little bit. I want to see, I want to explore my my little world that is me and find the things that I like to do and do them personally because everything I do in my life is as a group with Nick and Chris and I love it so much and I wouldn't change the world I wouldn't change it for the world that's how you say it but um I do feel like I don't know I need to find myself and then put myself into that trio instead of having that trio carry me through life, if that makes any sense. I look like I'm gonna tell a spooky story, but I'm not. I'm actually gonna talk about some meaningful things. All right, I look a little bit crazy and the camera's tilted a little bit, but this is the best we're gonna get. So this is what we're gonna roll with, I guess. All right, so I don't even remember the last fucking clip that I did for my channel, but I do remember explaining that like, I don't wanna rush it on my con like on my content at all. I kinda wanna like just do it when I feel ready to go. Cause that way it will be most natural and it will like really be who I am, what I do. And I was really feeling the groove tonight. So um, I came out here and I was like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to do this. So in my first YouTube video ever by myself, I um, I talked about like my anxiety and stuff like that and how it's been getting better and what's going on and shit like that. And I encourage people to start an anxiety journal and just like write down like the anxiety attacks that they have and like what they're feeling through that. So that way they can look back on like those harder moments and like really think about like what's going on in them and what is causing this anxiety because anxiety has like there's a root to everyone's anxiety you know anxiety sometimes it's random I get that but like sometimes you can like find the root of it and kill it so it's like if you can do that then it works for you and it's great and that's what works for me so I feel like I just gotta like take time find it kill the root before it grows and spreads 
So, um, I talked about my anxiety journal in my first video, and I'm very much a hypocrite for that because since that first video, I probably wrote in that journal two times, and now I have no idea where the fuck that notebook went. So, I was like, damn, I feel like an idiot for telling people to do that and then not even following through with it because it helped me so much, and now it's like, I'm not even doing it anymore. But... I went to, we did a group shopping trip at Target the other day, because we were just kind of like getting everything for our house and all that, and uh, I went, walked down the notebook aisle, and I saw this, black notebook, simple, lined, there's nothing in it yet, nothing at all in any of the pages, and I was like, you know what, we're going to start this back up, we're going to do it, even though my anxiety's been alright, it's been content, it's been in control. I was like, fucking anxiety journal. Let's just do a journal. And if I feel like writing anxiety about anxiety in it, I'll do that. And if I'm just stressed or if there's just, if there's happy moments going on, just write down fucking whatever I feel like writing down. So that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do today. And I encourage everyone to do this because it really is like, just like, it's powerful. When you think about the past and the moments that are going on when shit's rough and stuff like that, it's hard to think about like why the situations were rough and what was going on that made you feel that way. But if you write down all your emotions and everything, that's when you can go back and look at when you were really happy and when you were really sad. So that if you're in a sad situation like that again, you can find what was going on and how to avoid that situation. And I feel like talking about this is like great, but I need to hold myself accountable if I'm telling people to do this and actually put this shit into action. But um, I do, I do wanna say, you don't gotta get a fucking crazy notebook. You know what I mean? Like, a piece of paper will do. I was at Target with them the other day and I just was like, I saw this notebook and I was like, fuck it, I put it in the cart. And then I didn't feel like walking around the Target for the rest of the time I was in there. So I was like, I'm just gonna go to the car. They checked out and then we brought the receipt home and we were checking who paid for what and what was going on. This notebook was fucking $25. I was like, okay, cool, but like, why the, who the fuck is buying a $25 notebook that's this big with this many pages? If I'm getting a fucking $25 notebook, that, it, that bitch better be the size of a fucking dictionary with no words in it ready for me to write. $25, that's ridiculous. You can get a lined fucking notebook for like two bucks at Walmart, and I'm getting a $25 notebook. I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna make sure I write gold in this thing. Jesus. I'll write some things down, and I will. I promise you guys I'm going to keep writing more shit, but I know I'm a content creator and it's my job to put shit out there for you guys and to like explain all this stuff, but obviously I'm going to write down some personal shit in this notebook too, but I'm going to try and make it so that there's some personal shit that I can like share that like I want to put on the internet and I want to like have you guys go through this journey with me. So I'm going to write down some shit. And then I'm going to share a couple things. So I will be right back. Listen to my friend's song real quick. That's what I'm going to do. Lost. For kind of shit, baby, you should come away with me. We fucking fall asleep, same thing on a pee. Don't do no titles, but you still gon' be my MVP She blow my rifles, love the way she like to look at me For kind of she, baby, you should come and lay with me Okay, camera is back on. So, I wrote down my thoughts for today, and I am ready to share what this notebook session had for me. And this was the first one, so I kind of wanted to um, get down the basics for myself. And I kind of wanted this to be a um, reminder page for me for the first, um, so like when I open it and I'm like, why did I start this journal? This is what I, um, this is what I wanted to read. So the first thing I wrote was, good job writing down your feelings and thoughts. You, you will thank yourself later for, the, for this. So like, just like the, I don't know, encourage, encouraging myself to keep doing this and um, just know that it will, this will make sense when I'm done with it all. And then um, 
I wrote down like like I said I'm just writing down the basics right now I did write a meaningful thing but I don't know if I want to say it out loud for now but um one of the, like and you can go anywhere with these like don't take these too seriously because I literally wrote down a little Wayne verse that I thought was fucking hilarious that me and Chris were talking about the other night because I constantly like have this fear of when I like did my last journal I had a fear that like I was spelling shit wrong and I wasn't making sense and I wasn't using like the correct punctuation and I was like I just want to like get shit done I want to do this and I'm the reader it doesn't matter like what I write it doesn't matter no one's gonna read this but me so why the fuck does it matter what spelling or punctuation I use that's my um that's my notebook beginning and I will write more, but like I said, I'm not gonna force this either. I don't wanna force anything in life. I'm gonna let everything come natural to me. All right, my camera cut. I think that was a sign from God that I'm rambling on far too much and I need to go back home and go to bed because it's 2.30 in the morning. But I love all of you guys. I really do seriously appreciate each and every single one of you guys. You guys can do anything you want in this world. Just go, go after it, tackle it, you got that. Motivational Matt was in the fucking building for this week, and that's a fact. That is a fact. What am I saying this week, this month, maybe this fucking decade, but, but um, yeah, I'm gonna keep rocking. I'm gonna see you guys, I don't know when else, but I just decided to record this little clip here. And I love you guys, thank you so much for um, sticking with me, I appreciate it. Peace out, I'm gonna eat Burger King, root beer, yeah! I'm gonna hold myself accountable and I'm gonna write shit down. And I feel great about it. Thank you so much for joining me in my first journal session in my car at 3.30 a.m. Appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you. But I'm suffering right now. Lately I've been too fucked up. It's been two years I ain't seen you around.